But on behalf of the Maddie C. Stewart Foundation, I want to welcome all of you for coming out and visiting with us today as we unveil our newest tool, the Choice Bus. Now, the Choice Bus is designed to go into communities to talk to young people and their families about the consequences of making the choice to drop out of school. We have more than 30,000 inmates in the state of Alabama right now, and unfortunately that number is growing. And of those 30,000 inmates, slightly more than 60% do not have a GED or a high school diploma. 60% of them do not. They may have gotten to the third, fourth, fifth, eighth grade, but they don't have a diploma or a GED. Thus, they wind up in prison. And it's like the bus says, it's a choice bus. You can end up here, you can get your education, or you can end up here in prison. And trust me, we don't want them. We really don't want them. So uh, we are just more than, uh, more than thrilled, more than happy to be taking part in this endeavor, and we support the Matty C. Stewart Foundation completely. Now I'm asked regularly about the facts and figures that you see in the media about the dropout rate in Alabama and there are lots of different ways that's reported and you see lots of conflicting numbers but my answer is always consistent when I respond to that question and that is if there's one that's too many and if there's one we failed as a system and I'm so excited that now it's just not education working to try to correct this travesty that's happening to our young people there's a collective effort between the Department of Corrections, through Shelley's work and numerous other organizations, cities and communities that are banding together to help us correct this issue that's facing not only Alabama but the, our nation as a whole. Today, Shelley, I want to say congratulations. You took an idea uh, and, and you made reality of it. And if we save one kid, if we have one student, uh, this has been a tremendous success, but I believe we're going to be saving hundreds and even thousands of kids in the future. I'm proud of this morning. I can tell you that the message must go on. If you learn to read, if you get an education, if we reduce the dropout rate in these United States of America, we will reduce crime. We will reduce poverty. We will reduce so many things that's affecting us negatively. We can do that. We can do it. What did you think about that bus and what you saw on there? Uh, I thought it was really creepy and we're, we're both playing on yeah, staying at school. <laughs> it makes you really want to like be careful about your decisions and stay in school and not hang out with people who will get you in trouble. Um, it was kind of creepy in the nicest way possible, creepy. But, but the movie was inspiring. I'm staying in high school. I, would, I definitely don't want to okay, leave school. But I'd be happy to do it too. You know, okay. I don't want to end up in prison like those people.